Today we're going to talk about water heater venting. What you have in a gas water heater is what they call a single wall vent pipe is what we have particularly in this one and it ties into what we call B vent which is a double wall if you will. It has a uh, outer wall and it has an inner wall which makes it to where it has tighter clearances for uh, fire hazards, for combustibles. The clearance to this B vent is a one inch clearance to any type of combustible material, um, which means you can come in and your building material is a little bit tighter and closer to it before it uh, has to be. The single wall vent has a six inch clearance, which means you have to cut a much wider hole around it for its safety and for what it is. You can use single wall vent pipe in applications like what we have today. When it's outside in the room, when you have plenty of clearances from combustibles, all it does is direct the flue gases up and out the flue pipe. Where it becomes critical is when it penetrates walls and goes and up and through. And that's where you have to start worrying about clearances and making sure everything is right. To safely vent something, you need to make sure first and foremost that you have draw. There's a couple of ways of testing this. The most simple and direct way is to simply take a match, light it, and blow it out put it up there and see if the smoke draws up and out the flue. If you do, you have proper natural draw. Um, it gets, draw happens and it gets more as the flue heats up because it does a natural conductive heat rises thing up through the flue pipe. Um, so if you've got a little bit when it's dead coal, then you've got plenty to make it happen. Another thing you have to worry about when venting um, is when you get close to the peaks of your roof of your house. You have to come up above the peaks of the roof of the house about two feet. What this does is it creates a flow across. If it's below the peak of the house, you've got the peak like this and the flue comes up like this. If it's below the peak, what can happen is the air can come over and knock the flue down, which makes you have to uh, relight the pilot first and foremost, which is an inconvenience. The other thing is it's a safety hazard, especially if the unit is producing carbon monoxide because it can create a backflow of, of harmful gases into your home. So it's very important that you have proper draft and that your flue has proper clearances, which you can find all these out if you have questions from a certified technician in your local area. Uh, it's always a good idea to ask somebody that really knows the codes and because they're different everywhere. But the basic, what I've given you now is, is for these vent types. 